गुड मॉर्निंग माइंड डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल डिजाइ टू लर्न विद मुकेश सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट सीरीज ऑफ इंग्लिश ओलंपियाड फॉर क्लास फिफ्थ सो इन दिस ओलंपियड सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द रिक्वायर्ड सिलेबस द टॉपिक्स व्हिच विल बी कम अंडर इंग्लिश ओलंपियाड so in this first video we are going to discuss the first series that is nouns so all of you know we have already discussed about nouns in the class so in this video we are going to discuss some more things about nouns and we are going to discuss some questions also which are multiple choice questions which will be helpful for your upcoming olympiad so without being led let us start today's video so first of all what is noun a noun is the name of a person place thing or quality you know it for example dr ashish is a famous neurosurgeon so here dr ashish is a name of a person and he is a neurosurgeon so neurosurgeon is the name of a profession our prime minister recently visited bangladesh here prime minister is the name of a post or profession and bangladesh is the name of a country so in the above examples in the two sentences dr ashish neurosurgeon prime minister and bangladesh all these are called nouns then we will come to types of nouns so there are five types of nouns already we have discussed in our class so proper noun these nouns refer to the specific name of a person place or thing proper nouns begin with capital letters and are generally singular in nature for example mumbai taj mahal ram so these are the specific names of maybe of a person or place or thing suppose mumbai so mumbai is the name of a city which is the capital city of maharashtra taj mahal is the name of a monument and ram is the name of a person so these are the specific names it may be the name of a person or a place or thing so these are called proper nouns and remember proper nouns begin with capital letters the first letter of the noun must be in capital mumbai m is capital taj mahal t is capital ram r is capital and they are generally singular in nature so mumbai means only one city so mumbai is singular taj mahal means one taj mahal so this is also singular ram means only one person so ram is singular then common nouns these are used in general for people place things or ideas of the same class it is a name given in common to each member or unit of the class for example soldier soldier means all the soldiers are included in soldier suppose ram is a soldier bhim is a soldier madhu is a soldier so ram madhu and bhim all are included in soldier so soldier is a common noun for all of them then children so there are so many children they have different names so all those who are children comes under children so children is also a common noun and books there are different types of books all the books are come under the category book so book is also books is also a common noun so soldier children books these are common nouns some more common nouns we can take flowers so many flowers are there different kinds different colors so all the flowers come under flower so flower is a a common noun students also is a common noun teachers are also common nouns so these are the common nouns then collective nouns these nouns are the names of a group or collection of persons or things taken together and spoken of as a whole for example army army means all the soldiers included in it army is a group of soldiers so army is a collective noun committee also is a group of members so many members more than one members so committee is also a collective noun then bonds bonds is the collective noun for flowers you know bonds of flowers then abstract noun these nouns refer to the name of a quality action or state or feeling that cannot be seen or touched for example happiness only we can see happiness we can feel happiness but we cannot touch happiness love also we can feel but we cannot see and cannot see and cannot touch honesty is also an abstract noun so these are this type of words which are qualities or actions 
or state or feeling that cannot be seen or touched so these are comes under abstract noun sadness also will come under abstract noun okay then material noun these nouns are the names of matter or substance of which things are made these nouns cannot be counted for example these are uncountable nouns for example coal so we make different substances using coal we use different we make different substances using uh, gold and also from water so these are the substances name of substances or matter of which things different things we make for example coal gold water okay iron these are some of the material nouns silver also okay copper also then another classification of nouns are as follows for example countable noun these are the names of objects people etc that we can count for example book one book two books three books you can count pen also one pen two pens three pens four pens we can count apple also we can count one two three four sister also we can count we can say i have one sister or he has two sisters she has four sisters so these are the nouns that we can count one by one uncountable nouns these are the names of things which cannot be counted which we cannot count example milk we can't count one milk two milks okay oil sugar these are the uncountable nouns so countable nouns may have plural forms while uncountable nouns not uncountable nouns does not have do not have plural form we may say books or chairs but we can't say milks or waters only we can say a bottle of milk or two bottles of milk like that a glass of water two glasses of water okay but we can say milks or waters so these are uncountable nouns now we will practice some mcq based questions first choose the appropriate noun from the options given below to complete the sentences question number 1 the desk still has not taken our order porter waiter manager shopkeeper who takes order in a restaurant yes waiter so the waiter still has not taken our order option c is the answer the nile is the longest of all the you know nile is a river so rivers the nile is the longest of all the rivers i do not travel with much luggage okay the substances we carry when we go for travel those are called luggage so i do not travel with much luggage this is on the banks of river hugli you know kolkata is on the banks of river hugli okay our soldiers fought with great courage during the kargil war so soldier is a common noun kolkata is a proper noun name of a city okay so these are the nouns we used then question number 6 which type of noun the underline word is solomon was the wisest of all kings solomon is the name of a king so it is a proper noun the soldiers were forwarded for their bravery so bravery is abstract noun we can touch bravery we can only feel it or we can only see it okay when someone shows bravery then the french army was defeated at waterloo so army is a collective noun group of soldiers gold is a precious metal gold is a metal noun because using gold we make different items or ornaments banana is a very nutritious fruit banana is a proper noun because it is a name of a fruit then choose the correct corresponding noun of the given words succeed so the noun form will be success right writer love laughter vacant vacancy no knowledge so these are the noun forms then match the words in the list one with their appropriate options in list two so here we will make keys so keys bunch of keys flowers flowers bucket of flowers okay members committee then cattle herd of cattle so a 2 b 4 A to B four C one. So this is the correct answer. A to B four C one and D three cattle herd. Okay. 
Next, Jawaharlal Nehru will be the proper noun, name of a person. Fleet, fleet is a collective noun. Okay, chair is a common noun, and happiness is your abstract noun. So, A four, B one, C two, and D three. Now, the noun which is used both as singular and plural. Trouser. We can use singularly and plurally also. Choose correct list of plural forms. This one: sheep, oxen, books, mice. Sheep is the word that can be used as singular and plural also. Oxen is the plural of ox. Books is the plural of book. Book and mice is the plural of mouse. Which of the following is not a singular noun? Feet, because feet is the plural of foot. Choose the correct abstract noun from the given options. So here honesty, and here it will be your goodness. Here it will be your slavery. Here it will be your strength. So these are the abstract nouns. Now choose the correct collective noun from the given options. Collective noun bucket, bucket of flowers. Okay, family, a group members which are living together, and fleet is the What we call collective noun. Then here army, group of soldiers. Okay, choose the correct sentence of the questions. She is going to her uncle's place for Christmas. Here she is not capitalized, so this is wrong. She is going to her uncle's. You is capitalized, so it is also wrong. She is going to her uncle's place for Christmas holidays. Here she is capitalized, so it is also wrong. So the last one is correct. She is going to her uncle's place for Christmas holidays. Only in Christmas, she will be capital. Which is the tallest building in the world? The tallest building in the world is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. B is not capital, so this is wrong. The tallest building in the world is Burj Khalifa in Dubai. This is the correct one. The tallest building in the world is the Burj Khalifa. Your B is also not capital. Okay, so B is the capital. Sorry, B is the right answer. Where are you going in vacation? We are going to Simla. S is not capital, so this is wrong. We are going to Simla in summer holidays. This will be the right one. We are going to Simla in summer holidays. H is capital, so this is also wrong. Actually, S will be also in capital letter, but here option is not given, so we select to B. Okay. Then find the odd one out from the given options. Nightingale, Maina, Sparrow, Bird. Nightingale, Maina, and Sparrow are common nouns. Sorry, uh, proper nouns. These are the names of birds, but bird is the common noun. Gold, silver, iron. These are material nouns, and iron is a verb. Sorry, what we call adjective. Sorry, adjective not adjective. It is a abstract noun, right? Advice, kindness, happiness, obedience. Happiness, kindness, and obedience are. The abstract nouns and advice is the verb form of advice. A D V A C advice is noun form, but A D V A C advice is the verb form. So this is different. Principal, teacher, class, student. So class is different. Principal, teacher, and student are common noun. Bundle, bonds, bucket, bark. Bundle, bonds, and bucket are collective noun, but bark is not a collective noun. Now read the passage carefully and answer the questions that follow. Jane Goodall is a remarkable woman who has led an extraordinary life. She was born in London on 3rd April 1934. When Jane was a child, she liked watching the animals and birds in her garden. But she dreamed of traveling to Africa to observe exotic animals in their natural habitat. Jane became famous for her amazing work as an expert on the behavior of chimpanzee in Tanzania. in the first line of the passage the underlined word jane goodall is a proper noun because this is the name of a person in the third sentence of the passage which of the following is a proper noun the third sentence is when jane was a child she liked watching the animals and birds so in the third passage jane is the proper noun because name of a person Choose the correct type of noun for the underlined words given in the third sentence of the passage. In the third sentence, there are animals and birds, which are common nouns, right? Which type of noun is the word habitat in the passage? 
habitat. But she dreamed of traveling to Africa to observe exotic animals in their natural habitat. So habitat is your common noun. Which noun has been used in plural form in the last sentence of the passage? In the last sentence of the passage, chimpanzee is the plural. Because here, behavior of chimpanzee means not a single chimpanzee. Behavior of all the chimpanzee. It means all the chimpanzee. Now, next, read the passage given below and fill in the blanks with the most suitable option. Madagascar is a fairly large area sea land island island okay island is that portion that land which is surrounded by water okay surrounding it in the indian ocean in the indian ocean so madagascar is a fairly large island in the indian ocean it has many dense dense full of poisonous dense it has many dense forest full of poisonous snakes and a large variety of wild animals wild animals there are a number of hills and deep valleys valleys may be deep so deep valleys it is a backward country and far behind modern civilization okay Then only a few days visit this place due to its unfavorable ge geographical location. Only a few. Those who visit are called tourists. So, tourists. Only a few tourists visit this place due to the, its unfavorable geographical location. The new name of this place is Ma Malagasy Republic. The new name of this country. Okay. The new name of this country is now Malagasy Republic. So, we discussed about nouns which was the first series of your olympiad and we also practiced we discussed 50 mcq questions okay of different types so i think you have learned about nouns and types of nouns okay from this video so i wish you all the best for your coming upcoming olympiad keep learning keep growing thank you